Welcome to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. This is Amber with the patch notes for the title update 1.1.1 released on Thursday, January 14th. Now, according to the Ubisoft website, they'll be deploying this update on the Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, PlayStation 4 and 5, Ubisoft Connect, Epic Game Store, Stadia, and Amazon Luna on January 14th, 2021. Patch sizes and deployment timing. Xbox Series X and S is 7.5 gigs. Xbox One is around 6.6 gigs. PlayStation 5, 2 gigs. PlayStation 4, 2 or 3 gigs, depending on region. And PC, 6.45 gigs. Deployment timing for all platforms is 1 p.m. CET, 7 a.m. Eastern Time, 4 a.m. Pacific Time, and 11 p.m. AEDT. Please note these times are estimates and subject to change. Check out the most notable changes with 1.1.1 below. Ubisoft Connect achievements are here. Added in-game support for Ubisoft Connect achievements to the game. Unlock conditions for quest-related or non-repeatable achievements. Achievements where unlock conditions have been met will pop when the player completes a new quest. Unlock conditions for countable repeatable achievements. Achievements will pop whenever the player performs an achievement-related action past the unlock condition. Miscellaneous changes. The Animus Pulse will now highlight dead bodies for necessary situations only. Enemies can no longer be auto-looted using the Throw Weapons perk. Tweaked AI detection when using Disguise while dodging or while being in air. Added a reward to the Death Stranding homage. Quivers and rations will now refill when upgrading them while they are depleted. White dots hinting at rations, adrenaline, arrow loot beyond interacting range will no longer be displayed when the player has max quantity already. Players will now be able to use Wake Up at any time while in Asgard. Previously, you had to complete the first quest. Daily quest will now restart whenever the game detects that it's not possible to continue or restart the quest. The quest may then be reactivated at the informer. Added text to, to speech, to letters found in game, and added previews to colorblind and subtitle options. Balancing, tweaked damage dealt and received values for the Lost Wolf boss encounter to reduce friction when playing on Drenger difficulty. Rebalanced the initial damage dealt with the Harpoon Impalement level 1 and 2. Game improvements. Performance and stability, all they say here is improved performance and stability. <laughs> it's just pretty vague. Um, graphics, audio, animation. Addressed various graphical issues, clipping issues, and NPC animation issues. Addressed an issue that caused dummies to jitter when hit with a poison arrow. Shake it off. <laughs> Spoilers, added some electricity to Thor's hammer before picking it up. Addressed an issue where war cries would repeatedly loop oddly. Addressed an issue where blowing the horn and starting to move with left foot forward could sometimes make Eivor's feet glide. Photo mode. Addressed an issue where zooming in on children with the photo mode camera would distort their face. Addressed an issue where some raven skins could be low res. PS4. Optimized some textures on PS4. And finally, addressed a texture issue near the Cistern Abbey that caused players to desync when walking over the texture. Quests, world events, and side activities. This is the part most interesting for many of us. Addressed an issue in Legend of Beowulf where the clue marker would remain after it was investigated. Addressed an issue in a sticky situation where the NPC would sometimes not spawn. Addressed an issue where the player could get stuck fishing in the baker's plaint. Addressed an issue in fishing lesson that under certain circumstances prevented players from completing the world event. Addressed an issue where players are stuck after pledging to Lincolnshire 
after returning from Vinland, addressed an issue where players could get stuck in a boss fight during a cruel destiny, addressed an issue where some treasures wouldn't be at their location or couldn't be looted. This was for Grantabridgeshire, Hamptonshire, Oxfordshire, and Yervikshire. Addressed an issue where players could receive an online service error when trying to save. Addressed an issue where players got black screen after building the blacksmith. Addressed an issue where players didn't receive storming the walls after completing serving the lines. Addressed an issue in to serve the light where Hytham would get stuck on the boat when randomly shooting arrows into the water. Addressed an issue that prevented players from interacting with settlement NPCs addressed an issue that prevented players from completing clues and riddles, addressed an issue in absence of an elderman that prevented players from completing the quest, addressed an issue where the quest objective marker was pointing to a wrong destination in The Devil Has All the Best Tunes, addressed an issue in War Wary that prevented players from completing the quest when Chiobert was accidentally killed, addressed an issue that prevented players from starting the Daughters of Illyrian encounter, addressed an issue in Binding Fate that caused the boss to be stuck on a rock, addressed an issue where Estrid could get stuck in Taken, addressed an issue in Pluck the Quill where players would sometimes be unable to interact with Aelwyn, addressed an issue in Binding Fate that caused the boss to be stuck underground when using Dive of the Valkyries, addressed an issue in Price of Wisdom that prevented players from completing the quest, addressed an issue in Bleeding the Leech where Enrique would be at the wrong location, addressed an issue in Of Blood and Bonds where the player couldn't complete the, the quest or couldn't report back to Ranvi, addressed an issue in The Prodigal Prince that prevented players from completing the quest, addressed an issue that prevented players from completing the Old Cellar mystery, addressed an issue in A Rivalry for the Ages that prevented players from completing the quest, addressed an issue where the Mary Lou disguise would not disappear after finishing the Gloucester arc, addressed an issue in Road to Harmatia that prevented players from completing the quest, addressed an issue where Nude could become stuck in a little problem, addressed an issue that prevented players from interacting with Uba in Sons of Ragnar, addressed an issue where Basim was in a fight with NPCs before the start of Puppets and Prisoners, addressed an issue in Brewing Rebellion that prevented players from force opening the door to the Longhouse in Buckingham, addressed an issue in Bridges of Oppression that prevented players from completing the quest, Spoiler, addressed an issue in King Killer that prevented Ivar to reach the door to Rodri's room. And finally, addressed an issue in A Fiend Out of Hell that prevented players from examining one of the cows. So hopefully if you've been stuck on any of those quests, your problem will be solved. Updates to the world. Address various misplaced textures or objects. Address several instances where the player could become stuck and grounded a floating boat in Vinland. I assume they mean floating in the air, not floating on the water, which is what a boat is supposed to do, so that would be correct. Gameplay, combat, and AI. Addressed various NPC behavior issues. Addressed an issue where NPCs would sometimes return to a location they fled from that is still being raided. Addressed an issue where whales would sometimes start their fleeing behavior midair. Addressed an issue where archery was blocked with M and K holding the shift key, obviously on PC. Addressed an issue that caused players' line of sight to be blocked using incendiary or poison traps with the predator bow. Addressed an issue where guards would sometimes not react with hostility to watching Eivor burn members of their faction with oil jars, addressed an issue where NPCs could be killed by throwing corpses at them in Vinland, addressed an issue that removed Bajorn from the ship crew, addressed an issue with the mentor set 
where the gear perks sometimes didn't activate even though two to four set pieces were equipped. Addressed an issue that prevented players from controlling the Raven when Q or E buttons were assigned to one of the move actions, again for PC. Abilities, perks, and skills. Addressed an issue where some ranged special abilities could incorrectly be used with guided arrows. Addressed an issue where one NPC would not leave Abor's side when feign death was used. Addressed an issue where several abilities wouldn't work against hostile dogs. Addressed an issue where man's best friend would not unlock after completing the quest a little problem. I know a lot of people are going to be glad to hear that one. User interface, HUD. Address various UI HUD issues. Address an issue where the arrow quantity could remain stuck at 12. Address an issue where UI language changes weren't applied during combat. The camera will now be closer to the character when browsing tattoos in the Animus store. Address an issue where colorblind previews would sometimes not be displayed in the menu. Address an issue where colorblind values weren't applied to the Order of Ancients menu. Address an issue where a blank box would appear in the completed quests list. Address an issue where fall damage could be negated by opening the right menu before hitting the ground. Address an issue where auto loot didn't work when an enemy was stun finished. Address an issue where the Recult Monastery couldn't be raided. Address an issue where some icons were missing for newly acquired god favors. That's for the Orlog minigame. Address an issue where in-game news sometimes wouldn't load correctly. Address an issue that caused players to receive incorrect items when purchasing some tattoo schemes. Address an issue that allowed players to acquire duplicates of Asgardian ship schemes. And finally, system added a respawn point just before the boss fight in Extended Family, addressed an issue that prevented players from fast traveling after update 1.0.4, added force trigger feedback to bow shooting for Xbox and PlayStation controllers, and for Stadia, addressed an issue that caused the time on the save to not reflect local time. And those are the patch notes for update 1.1.1, January 14th, 2021. This is Amber. Subscribe to my channel for more videos on Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Thanks for watching all the way to the end and see you in the next one.